there's no denying that we are working in an unruly environment. This is not a film studio. To really see where these guys are and the lines they're riding, we needed to have the aerial angle. That's ultimately why we really brought the GSS into this project and brought that whole aerial component in. And You know, these big majestic sweeping shots where we fly in and it looks like a scenic and you come and you realize there's actually a subject in there, like those are those are really, really key. And you know, and they also capture the magnitude of these places that we're at. Higher, we have this, these amazing aerial shots, but I value that aerial shot as much as I value that in the moment, on the side of the mountain, raw emotion, handheld shot. You know, he was staring down to my line in the sun. It was off by about 10 minutes. Uh, my name's Chris Figginshaw. I'm a onslaught photographer for the film of Higher. The big thing with that is just being one step ahead of the athletes, kind of move quickly and combination between climbing and running around and getting these quick setups to get the content that you see in the film. Just take me a second to get you into a belay, okay? I can't think of another guy in the world that has the skill set of Chris Figginshaw in the sense of his ability to climb these mountains, to assess risk, and then all along the way be pulling out a camera and getting these amazing shots. Knuckles. Have a good run, man. Yeah, okay. too. It's super challenging. To get all this gear up there, for one thing, is just a gigantic challenge. You've got a tripod, you've got your camera, you've got your extra batteries, you've got lenses, you've got all this stuff that's on your back. You name it, there's just a, just a lot of gear that goes along with something like this. Matty Moo is someone I've worked with going on a solid 15 years, but he really came out of the woodwork when I started doing this on foot missions and, and, and he just brought such positive energy and he's super fit. His ability to carry heavy packs um, plus we have a lot of rough days in the mountains and he's really um, a spiritual leader on these trips. There's no denying that we are working in an unruly environment. This is not a film studio. Snowed two feet just straight down last night. Collapsed the cook tent, broke every pole on the thing. Um, we're setting up a secondary tent. And then gonna attach the crane to the top and lift it, bringing it up. If we get any wind, there's no way it's gonna stand. Okay, we're All solid. Go. Yeah, we're good. All right, one, two, three. Where we were and deeper to where we are today on running our production process is just light years. And we have really evolved it incredibly over the last five years. It's wild to look back and just think of how much work it was, how many people were involved, and, and really a group effort by by so many people from the riders to the cameramen to the local support that we had in different countries that might be the coolest thing in the whole project is just the relationships that were made over the last six years Howdy, Moo. yeah friends for life i say hey, what's up? Yay! it's a cool job of course it's a cool job and in time you get to go to the ends of the earth. I mean, you know, how outrageous is that? It's a long time to be gone, but just a short time to be there. All right. <laughs> All right.